Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. For today, on the Pat McAfee Show, Aaron Rodgers announced his intent to want to be traded to the New York Jets. And that the only reason why there hasn't been a trade yet is because we're waiting on exact conversation to be nailed out between the Packers and the Jets. And there was a lot of things said during this interview. Especially with Rodgers being frustrated with the way the Packers handled it by saying one thing's out publicly and some things privately that weren't matching up. He said he went into the dark street thinking that the door was open. Then afterwards he came back out and the door was shut basically type thing. And I really don't know how to take what he said about organization. Because on one hand, yeah, it is very, very frustrating to have a thing said publicly and then have it not be true internally and people change their minds. But on the other hand, for Rodgers, it's just like you were taking – a long time to make up your decision to play or not or retire and as an organization it is their responsibility to do what is best for the overall team not just for an individual player as sad as that is that's just the truth and so they didn't know if you're going to retire or want to be traded so they were shopping him around because they needed to know what potential output there was and they weren't getting anything from you. So it was a little bit frustrating that way. But that all that's besides the point. Whose fault it was, the Packers or the Rodgers or a mixture of both, which I believe is the most probable outcome. It doesn't change the fact that, in my personal opinion, the greatest player in franchise history. A quarterback who has been the leader of my team since I was 10 years old. Almost all of my memories of watching the Packers had him as the quarterback. I had a little bit of far before then, but not too much. Especially not when he was good in the 90s. But Aaron has always been the quarterback for the Packers. Easily the greatest player, quarterback in franchise history. Let us do Super Bowl. Let us do continued contention year after year. Yes. There were heartbreaks, like 2010, like 2014, 2020. And last year was even worse because I expected a lot out of us. But it's still really kind of sad for me because I have so many good memories of him. I've never seen a quarterback play the game like Aaron did until basically Mahomes. The efficiency, the beautiful throws, knowing you were never out of it until the time was up because you knew Aaron could pull something out of his butt. I remember when I was 12 years old, it was Super Bowl Sunday. I stayed up to watch the first half of the game. I was enjoying it. The Packers were doing really, really good and everything. And then I had to sit through that terrible halftime show before going to bed because I had school on Monday and my mom wouldn't let me stay up. But I remember it was like with a minute and a half left in the game. I was kind of asleep. My mom came upstairs, Brandon, Brandon, wake up, wake up. The Packers are about to win. And I came downstairs and watched the last minute tick off the clock for the Packers winning the Super Bowl. And I was on an emotional high for the next week because my team won. And the reason why we won that game, the reason why we made it through that playoffs was because of Aaron. He put that this team on his back so many times. So many times. When 2015, the amazing Hail Marys he had. I stayed up for that, I don't remember, it was a Thursday night, Monday night game. The game against the Lions. I stayed up to halftime and was like, we're down 23 nothing. Well, I'm going to go to bed. I got school in the morning. I'm not wasting my time with this. We're done and over. I woke up the next morning, my mom was like, how bad? I asked my mom, how bad did they lose? Because she stayed up one night. Brandon, they won. How? And then I turned on NFL Network, and I went, and I saw the Hail Mary, the Rogers, the Rogers Hail Mary. That was, that was special. And then, the playoffs that you're being up the Giants, that was special. Watching them beat the Cowboys with a minute left, the t- Take the lead. That was special. 
to run the table year back in 2014 when he came back from injury and led us to victory over the Bears to win the division. That was special. And even for the last few years, except for last year, when we had heartbreak. After 2019, like, oh, the Packers are done. That was their last chance. Rodgers showed signs of decline. So on, especially after 2017, 2018. We thought we were done. Rodgers was getting old. He was injury prone. And he came back and led us to three straight 13-win seasons. It, I know we didn't make the Super Bowl. The playoff heartbreaks were terrible, but... It was still special. That 2020 season, when he went off and deservedly won MVP, that was special. It sucks that we lost against Tampa. It 100% does. Because if we made a Super Bowl year, we wouldn't won it. And we've been a lot better prepared for that. But basically, what I'm trying to say here right now is say here. It didn't end the way we wanted it. I wanted you to get another ring in Green Bay. And... It sucks that you're going to New York. But I wish you all the best. I wish you success. And just thank you. Thank you, Aaron, for all the memories. I know you haven't been officially traded yet, and you never, ever get to see this. But it's weird. I got this all this emotional mixture of I'm sad because the team I have poured so much investment in, so much care and emotional sake, especially when I was younger. Oh my gosh, when the Packers lost, I was depressed for the week. And the quarterback that led that team was Aaron. Sad he's leaving. I'm also excited to see this new era of Packers football come because Aaron sounds like he really believes in Jordan Love. And I'm excited to see what he has as a quarterback. I'm also frustrated with the way this whole situation has developed between Rodgers and the Packers, drama between those two, lack of communication on both sides. It's not just on Rodgers, it's on the organization too. And that's been frustrating, but I'm just kind of, I'm relieved now. All this questioning and thoughts and all this other stuff that has happened, it's now basically over. We're just waiting on the Packers to find a package that they like in exchange for Rodgers. And, yeah, whenever that's announced, I'll be making a breakdown of it. I'll be redoing a mock draft with the official statistics of it type thing. But right now, I just want to get my initial thoughts on the whole thing that it is confirmed that Rodgers wants to leave Green Bay and wants to go to the Jets. It sucks. It really does. He is... A Packers Hall of Famer going to have his number retired by the team. Greatest quarterback in franchise history. First ballot Hall of Famer. And now it's coming to an end. Thank you guys for listening to my ramble. It's been I've been dreading this for a while. Just because that's the guy I grew up watching. That was my Packers hero. So long. Seeing him do things I'd never seen any other quarterback do. And it's just it's a little rough. It's a little rough seeing him go. But you gotta think ahead to the future now. And the future is Jordan Love. And I want him to do well. I want both of them to do well. Rodgers, go do good with the Jets. Please. I want you to do good. I want you to have success, and I want you to do good. Win a Super, go win a Super Bowl, just as long as it's not against the Packers. Don't win it against the Packers, please. And whatever you do, do not go to the Vikings, please. I'm begging you, do not be exactly like Brett Favre. That's all I'm asking. But cook, Aaron. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for my ramblings. And I'll see you again very, very soon.